Christina here, your tech director. Today, I want to show you how you can take your IABS, information about brokerage services, and your consumer protection notice and put those in your email signature in Gmail. Now, this is geared towards the Keller Williams Gmail. However, it will basically be the same process for any Gmail account. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you and we'll get started. First thing you need to do is be in Google. So as long as you have signed into your Google account, you'll be able to proceed from here. If you haven't, just go up to the top right and sign in and choose the correct account. Once you're signed in, we're gonna click the, the little dots to the left of your picture or your name, Google Apps, and we're gonna to go to Drive. Once you get here, we're going to click on the new plus sign at the top left and file upload. From here, we're going to search for our IABS that we have already filled out. And side note, if you need help filling that out, please let me know and I'll be happy to help you. So select your IABS and open. And then you'll do the same thing for your consumer. You'll add that as a document as well, but you will see that I already have my consumer protection in here. Okay, so I'm not gonna actually add that one right now. Once you have added it, you'll be able to two different ways. You can either double click on the document you just uploaded, or you can even click down here because it shows you which file you just uploaded as well. So I'm just gonna click on it right here. Either way you do it, it'll bring you to this screen. So it opens up the document. You're going to go to the top right to these three dots, which is more actions and click share. Now, if you are signed into your Keller Williams Realty Gmail account, you're gonna see that where it says get link, it says restricted, only people um, added can open with this link. So only Keller Williams, um, associates will be able to open it. We want to change that because we want anyone to be able to open this because it is required, correct? What we're going to do is click on right there, share the KW, and then we're going to change this from Keller Williams Realty to anyone with the link. Now anyone on the internet with this link can view the document. Now that we've updated that, um, you'll be able to click the copy link to copy that link. Now, keep in mind, if you are not signed into your Keller Williams Gmail, let's just say you're logged in on a personal Gmail account, it's probably not going to be um, with that Keller Williams restricted one. Just confirm that you click on this link and that you have this one checked. Anyone with the link can view the document. All right. So we copy our link here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open our Gmail account. So I'm going to add a new tab here and go to my Gmail. So once you're here, we are going to go to the settings wheel up at the top right and click see all settings. Once we're in here, we're going to scroll down until we get to the signature settings of your email. Now, if you do not have a signature set up yet, you'll see I already do. Um, however, all you would have to do is click create new, name it here, and click create. And then you'll see that it has a blank space here for you to do your signature. So to add our IABS, all we have to do is click this link here. It looks like a paper clip. And you're going to paste right here where it says to what URL should this link go to? That's where we paste that link. It automatically copies and pastes right here as well, but we're gonna delete that because this is what we want our text to display on the link. So we wanna change that to information about brokerage services. Then you click the blue OK button and you'll see that it has put the link there. When you click on it, you'll even see go to link. And when you click on it, it'll bring up the IABS. 
So that's how to put that in there. And then you do the same exact thing, hit the enter button to make sure that your mouse goes below it. And then click on the little um, paper clip again, and then paste your link here for consumer protection notice. And then change the words here to consumer protection notice and click OK. Make sure after you have added your information about brokerage services and your consumer protection notice to your email signature, before you save it, scroll down just a little bit and you'll see signature defaults right underneath here. For new emails use, change that to the signature that you just created. And on reply for use, same thing add your signature there. And after you have done that, you can scroll down here and click save changes. So that is how you link both your information about brokerage services and your consumer protection notice to your email signature. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. Have a great day.